Living with Vacuum Cleaner Market and congratulations, you have just purchased the Mila Complete C3 Soft Carpet Canister Vacuum Cleaner. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I am going to show you everything that you should have that um, received and unboxed in your vacuum cleaner. Then I'm gonna detail a little bit more about what each of those components are. Then I'm gonna show you how to use them and how to assemble your machine. So right now what I want you to do is unbox your vacuum, make sure that you have all of these components that I have here on the table um, with you. So what you should have is you should have your canister body, you should have your telescoping wand, your parquet hard flooring attachment, your electric carpeting power head, your electric hose and you should have two manuals. One manual is going to be for your canister, and then the other manual is going to be for your electric carpeting power head. So before I get into all of the um, ins and outs of the canister, I'm gonna show you a little bit more about the accessories. So this is your electric telescoping wand, and how it telescopes is there is a button on the back of this wand, and you're gonna press it, and then you can extend or retract your wand. You know, this is great for if you're shorter or taller or if you want to add an extra cleaning length. So if you are going to want to clean your door jams, your baseboards, um, it's, it's really nice to have that added length. Also getting under the bed, very nice feature. This is your hard flooring parquet attachment. So this attachment is for hard surfaces. Um, if you try to vacuum your carpeting with it, it's probably gonna be a monster. Props to you if you can. Uh, but this is for hard flooring. So there's bristle, bristles of varied lengths on the underside of this. This is great for getting in the cracks and crevices of grout or any hard flooring surfaces that you have. It'll turn on a dime around your table legs, under furniture, uh, right up against your baseboards. This is a great um, tool to have because now you don't have to sweep, you can just vacuum and mop and it's such a time saver. So the nice thing about the soft carpet is you have some extra features for this vacuum that are very specific to this vacuum that no other model has. So on your electric carpeting power head, you have, um, you have five height settings, but you have soft carpet settings in between those um, height settings as well. So I know that might be a little complicated and I'm sorry. So level one will be the closest to your carpeting and then your soft carpet, if you're looking at your head, will be the level five, which would be the furthest away. Now in between your one and your level five, which says SC, you are going to have additional soft carpet settings in there. And the reason being is because when you are trying to clean this ultra thick pile plush carpeting, you want to be at a different height level and a different suction setting to make sure your vacuum head isn't getting bogged down and stuck into your new carpeting and you're not damaging those fibers. So that is why Mila has included additional height, uh, height settings in your carpeting power head and then additional suction setting on your canister itself. So between those two, your soft carpeting is gonna be cleaned all the way deep down to the base of the carpeting without damaging the fibers, which is a very amazing thing. If you're standing behind your power head as I am, there are two levers. So this one we already talked about is your height setting. And then this lever is to release your wand from the upright lock position. So if you press this, your wand will be released and that is gonna be how you're gonna be able to turn and vacuum your home. And then when your wand is in the upright lock position, it'll stand on its own, very nice. On your hose, you have a little X and an O. It has little motion. I, I, I don't really know if that's an X, but it looks like an X to me. So that's what I call it. So the X will turn your electric carpeting power head on. It will make the agitator, the brush roll spin. O will turn it off. And the reason Mila did this is because if you have a rug with tassels, you don't wanna suck up the tassels into your power head. Or if you have any delicate area rugs that you cannot use a spinning brush roll on, this is a really nice feature to have. So you can just vacuum those carpeted surfaces with pure suction without a spinning brush roll. So Mila is very, very conscious of 
of not damaging carpeting and just cleaning it to the best of its ability with no damage. So this is a very nice feature for the Mila vacuums. So if you're looking at your canister body, you will have your bag pre-installed and two filters pre-installed in your machine as well. But before I show you that, I'm gonna show you how to find the name of your vacuum and then how to locate your serial number and your model number. And the reason I'm showing you this is because if you need any additional um, accessories or if you need bags or filters in the future, knowing either the name or the model number is a huge time saver. So you just know what to buy and we'll help you out. So beneath the Mila logo on the front portion of your vacuum is a name and it'll say soft carpet. So that's the name of your vacuum. If you spin your vacuum around, there is a silver sticker on the wheel side. So this will be the side that is moving around on, the, on your flooring. And on the silver sticker, you're gonna have two numbers that I want you to pay attention to. One is gonna start with an S and be followed by either letters, numbers, or a combination of both of those. And that is your model number. So what starts with an S is your model number. And then the number that starts with is zero, zero slash and then a nine digit number, that is your serial number. That's the number you're gonna use to register your, your vacuum with Mila and to exercise any warranty aspects if you need to do so in the future. So knowing where those two things are is a very, that will help you, um, it's a very big time saver. So you'll know exactly what to buy. So you're probably wondering where your, your three cleaning attachments are. This is one of our um, most common questions. People will say, I'm missing my cleaning attachments. Well, there's a little button right here and it'll open your tool compartment lid. So your tools, your three cleaning attachments are stored on the inside of the canister, which is great. So you have a dusting brush, a crevice tool, and an upholstery nozzle on the inside of your vacuum. So you never have to worry about losing those attachments, which is a really nice feature. On the front portion, you have your suction control, and this is um, your soft carpet model. So you have, in addition to the six suction settings that Mila has, you have an additional suction setting for soft carpet. So I know I touched on that when I was talking about your power head. So you're gonna have minimum, and how it goes, um, you, you just press or minus to change your suction level to increase or decrease. If you were all the way at the lowest suction setting, that would be for drapery, anything that's very, very delicate. The next over is for area rugs. I'm sorry, upholstery, then area rugs. Then you have an ear symbol and the ear symbol operates your vacuum at a lower decibel. So it's very friendly for pets that are super sensitive to the vacuum sound or if the children don't like the sound of the vacuum, if, if you want to clean while they're sleeping, things like that. Just operates your vacuum at a, a, a lower level. Then you have your carpet setting and then your hard flooring setting. And then since this is a soft carpet, you have your soft carpet suction setting. So if you're vacuuming hard flooring, we recommend that you are on the hard flooring parquet setting. If you're vacuuming soft carpeting, soft carpeting, we recommend that you are on the soft carpet suction setting. Um, anything else, um, if you're vacuuming your upholstery, you might want to lower it down. I personally never change my suction unless I'm cleaning very, very delicate furniture or if I'm doing um, blinds or drapery. So to open the canister, there is a little clip on the top portion of your vacuum cleaner and you're gonna squeeze this and you, you will be opening it upwards, but for demonstration purposes, I'm opening it downwards. So this is your bag. You're, you will have one pre-installed bag on the inside of your canister. And to take your bag out, you are only gonna be removing this little collar that is attached to your bag. This is the only thing that should be coming out of your vacuum when you're changing your bags. This clip right here is your bag clip. And this is important because it holds your bag in the proper position to for all of the debris and things that you're cleaning out of your home to go straight in your bag and all through the levels of filtration and not to spill out in your canister. So if you, accidentally take this out, you can put it back in. If for some reason you've broken it, please let us know. This is one of our most commonly replaced things with the Mila canisters is, you know, people think you just have to rip out the whole entire portion. So make sure this clip stays in because it's gonna help you hold your bag at the proper placement. Inside your canister, 
Let me see if I can tilt this. There is this little pull down lever and that is gonna um, house your motor filter. And so you're going to pull down, I'm gonna pull up. And so this is your motor filter. This filter you change every four boxes of bags or four bags every one box, I'm sorry about that. You change your motor filter every four bags or every one box. And then your HEPA filter is good for about 50 hours of use. It equates to, if you're cleaning a few times a week, it equates to about one to one and a half years. So that's already pre-installed. You're just going to take this little um, piece of plastic off and then you are good to go with your vacuum cleaner. So to install your bag, there are arrows on your bag and these arrows will match the direction on your bag clip arrows. So you're going to make sure the arrows are going in the same direction, put that in and just tuck this in. Uh, as you clean, your bag is going to fill to a 3D capacity. These are like 3D bags, these are awesome. These, these things fill up like crazy. It's amazing what you can put in there. So then we'll close that. There you go. So I hope that I was able to explain properly about how to do your bags and filters. Uh, now I am going to show you how to assemble everything. And I do want to just caution you, the first time that you install your hose, it may be really, really hard to put it in. And so you might have to use a little bit of muscle. So this part of the hose that has this little electrical looking protrusion right there, that is gonna stick into your canister. And you're going to squeeze your hose and stick it in. And you're gonna have to use some strength. And the reason why you're gonna have to use a little bit of muscle to get it in there is you want a really, really secure electrical connection to be able to power your carpeting power head. So that's, that's normal, I promise. Over time, it will be a little bit easier to take on and off. So this is your handle. And on your handle, I mentioned earlier, you have an X and an O. Your X is going to turn your electric carpeting power head on. And then the O is gonna make sure those bristles are not spinning and you're just using suction and airflow to pick up any debris in your path. So you can attach your cleaning attachments that are stored on the inside of your canister to directly to the base of your handle, or you can attach your flooring attachments to the base of your handle as well. And then how you would remove them would be you would press down on this lever and lift up, and there you go. This is a little nice thing I always like to show people. You can use this for cleaning stairs. Um, if you have hard flooring stairs, um, it, this is a larger surface area than trying to clean them with a little dusting brush. Um, but you are able to attach your cleaning attachments to the base of your handle as well. So if you don't need the added length of your wand, this is a really nice feature. Um, to, I use it to do the couch and then also in my cars because you don't need a wand for that. So again, how to telescope your wand is you push your button and then you extend or retract. And then there are a couple little reservoirs on your canister. Um, yeah, right here on the side. This little reservoir is going to allow you to put your carpeting or your flooring attachment in. And then also there's a little reservoir right here. So I'm going to attach your hard, hard flooring attachment right there. And then what you can do is you can go like that and then you can use this for storage or you can store it standing up and then attach your hard flooring attachment on the side of the canister and kind of wrap your hose around your canister. It kind of condenses it and consolidates it a little better, a little better so it can fit into your closet or your pantry or wherever you're storing your vacuum cleaner. So again, you have your two manuals. One is gonna be for your electric head and then one is gonna be for your canister. If you have any other questions that I may have failed to address, please reach out to us. We're always here and happy to help. Um, you can do that via the live chat feature on our website. You can also call us on the phone or you can email us. We are here and happy to help with anything that you may need. So I hope I was able to explain to you a little bit about your new soft carpet. Try not to clean too much. I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market. Happy vacuuming.